You need to have a job. You need to pay rent. You need to be off the street and have a home. You, you need to take responsibility. You know what? I don't need to do none of that. You know, people say, you're, well, you're homeless because you smoke crack. No, I smoke crack because I'm homeless. I think it's a coping mechanism. It's a way of escape. It's a way of escape from their environment. I was in Vietnam, and I was not thinking, well, I'm defending the United States. I'm thinking, I'm gonna shoot this son of a bitch before he shoots me. I'm, I, wanna, I wanna go home. I seen my best friend, I'm blowed up with a landmine. Two days after we're there. My wife got killed in a car accident. When she died, it just seemed like part of me died. I give up. I walked out with the clothes on my back. I don't vote. I don't file income tax. I don't play the game anymore. This is my life. And, and the crack, I don't know, this, this girl I knew got me to try it. And I liked it, and it liked me, and it's been like that ever since. After I gave the money, then had to beat me up. They got me down on the ground and kept kicking me. They tried to kill me. A crime could happen right here, and there's literally nothing we could do about it. They'd probably be over here handling a dead body, or down the street on Fifth Street having a, handling a, uh, a rape or a, or a violent assault or a robbery. Every time I smoke crack, every single time, I said to myself, I wonder how this is all going to come to an end. Either you're going to die from it, or you're going to go to jail, or something's going to happen. When I came here, I withdrew from the cocaine. Boy, I was delirious. Now you've identified that was a bad place for me. You want somewhere better to go. When Johnny was first came here, he said that how long I would be staying in this place. And then I answered to him that, do you have a home where you're going to? And then he said, no, I live only in, in the street. I said that, please consider this place as your home. This is a better home for you. If they would have just kicked me out in the street, you know, instead of taking me to a nursing home, um, I would have continued back on the same path I was on and probably I'd be dead by now. The greatest power in the world is that which is within me. I'm the captain of this ship. We start getting together, getting to each other, know each other. Now I, I think it's more than being friends. <laughs> and doctors told me, take your quit drinking or you're going to die. 